Two employees accused of racial profiling at a Hilton Doubletree Hotel in Oregon are on leave this morning. The hotel apologized a second time to Jermaine Massey in a widely shared Instagram video and several other videos. He claimed he was targeted for, quote, calling his mother while black. DeMarco Morgan shows us how this is the latest incident of police being called on African Americans who are doing seemingly ordinary things. Uh, it's another talk of this morning, guys. Uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, Jermaine Massey was returning from a concert Saturday night when he said he went to a quiet corner of the hotel lobby to take a phone call from his mother. When a security officer, now dubbed Hotel Earl by the Internet, approached him, things got heated. You really want this PR issue, Earl? Do you? Jermaine Massey was ordered to pack his bags and leave the Doubletree Hotel in Portland, Oregon, hours after he checked in. Uh, got, uh, the 71-year-old security guard, Earl Wesley Myers, had asked Massey for his room number. Massey said he didn't remember it and requested privacy for his phone call. Instead, Myers called for the police. Why are they coming? To escort you off the property. Because what? And I'm staying here? Not anymore. He even went so far to say that he's there to protect the safety of the, re the, uh, the guests, as if I weren't a guest and I was causing a disturbance and I was a safety threat. Massey says white guests in the lobby were not similarly questioned. They're not loitering. How am I loitering in an area that's public? You're sitting here. So this area is off limits after a certain time? Only if you're a guest. I am a guest. You didn't tell me that. I just checked in with my American Express. And Massey produced his room key for a manager. He wouldn't ask me to call 911 without, without any cost. I didn't do anything to this man. Okay. I'm taking a phone call. But responding officers warned Massey he could be arrested for trespassing if he stayed. That I need to leave. of the property, yes. According to the police report, the 34-year-old who said he was a former FBI agent became loud and started yelling that the hotel was racist. You know, judging someone based off of the color of their skin, you never know how it feels until you've actually been there. I could have went to jail had I responded a different way. In the past year, police have been called on a group of black people barbecuing. It's illegal to have a charcoal grill in the park here. A girl selling bottled water on the sidewalk. Um, illegally selling water without a permit. And Bob Marley's granddaughter after she and her friends left their Airbnb. So, yeah, we're standing here. We have one, two, three, four That's police officers here um, who... Yeah. Massey checked into a different hotel Saturday after he was kicked out without a refund. On Thursday, the Doubletree announced it was reviewing its protocols and trainings and had launched an investigation. We have a zero tolerance stance on discrimination of any kind, it said in a statement. I plan to try to seek justice and make sure that doesn't happen to anybody else. Now, Massey's attorney said in a statement his client was publicly humiliated and now wants the hotel to publicly answer to two questions. Why was he approached by security and interrogated? And why was he called a threat to the safety and security of guests? And guys, I got to point out, this actually happened to me about two weeks ago at an unnamed wow. hotel. There was a security guard who came up to me and said, hey, what's your room number? And I gave oh him that gosh. look. And he said, oh, it's just for security reasons. And then there was a white couple on the side of me. And thankfully, she spoke up. The lady did. And she said, well, you didn't ask for my room number. Good for I gave her. her this look like, OK. Good for her. What? You know, but that's, that's what, what it, it will takes. take. It's going to take us working together, regardless of your race, your sex, your religion, uh, speaking out. And of course, there are two sides to every story. So we don't know both sides. But it happens. We don't know exactly what happened here, but newsflash, people of color stay at hotels, they live in apartment buildings, and they go to Starbucks. And, and they barbecue. <laughs> yes, they do. And they sell lemonade sometimes. Probably pretty tasty. DeMarco, thank you. Good to see you again this thank morning. Thank you. Good to see you as well.